How's it going everyone? So today I'm going to be showing you how to brighten up your eyes with this daytime and nighttime look. So I like to spray this before or after um, I put on my foundation and it's great because when you're wearing foundation, it reintroduces back the oxygen into the skin and makes your foundation last a little bit longer. Afterwards, I'm using this eye cream that I got from the body shop and I love it because one, it was affordable and two, it does the job. So it's, it's great for um, fine lines and it's great for any puffiness around the skin and it's great also if you are noticing dark circles. This is another cream, it's very lightweight that I've been using by Vichy and it's very hydrating to the skin but at the same time it doesn't leave um, that oily, glossy look on the face. To prime my face, I'm using this one by Clinique and it's a super primer and it's a universal primer which is great for all skin types whether you're dry, normal, combination, or oily. Next I'm using my Shu Uemura Tokyo Lights palette and I'm going to be using the dark purple and plum for this eye look. I like to concentrate the darker color onto the corner outside of my eyes. And I'm using two brushes, one for blending and one for placing where I want the color to sit. And you'll notice that I am working in upwards and directing towards my nose. That way I'm not getting any eyeshadow outside my lids. And I want to go all the way almost to the inner corners of my eyes as I'm blending in and this is going to help fade any harsh lines or edges. And with the flip of the brush, I'm just going to use the other side for my purple and I'm just patting it on onto my lid. And with my second brush again, I am blending it together and getting rid of any harsh lines again and any edges. With my third brush, I'm going over it with a lighter color and this is just like a tan color and this is going to help get rid of any um, parts that aren't blended properly and it's just going to blend everything together. That way you don't see where it ends and where it starts. I'm going to use this nice silverish um, pigment from Bare Minerals. I love it just because it's so shiny and it just is so pigmented and it lasts all day long. And I love using it in the corner of my eyes just to brighten up my eyes and really bring it out. Next I'm using my Maybelline New York Define A Brow in Dark Blonde and I'm just filling any sparse parts of my eyebrows and I'm working it from the inside to the outside up to my temples or towards my temples, not up to your temples because that would just be weird having eyebrows all the way to your temples. And only you know your eyebrows the best, so it's up to you how you want to shape them and how dark or light you want them as well. Next, I'm 
Next, I'm using my Exaggerate Eyeliner by Rimmel London, and it's waterproof, so I love it just because it's long-lasting again, and it's really easy to apply. And make sure too not to try not to tug your eye, your um, eyelids as you're applying it, just to prevent premature wrinkles and also sagging. And again, it's totally up to you if you want to do a cat eye liner or if you want to just do a basic classic liner on your eyelids. Totally up to you, just have fun with it. Next I'm using my Tiant Couture by Givenchy. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, so I'm sorry if I butchered it. And I'm just using my favorite classic mineral brush by Sephora. And I love it because it just buffs onto the skin so easily and it just goes on so smoothly and makes the skin look so flawless. And I totally believe in the brush that you use is what makes the foundation sit how you want it to sit. So I want it to look smooth, so I'm using a more dense brush. And I use it all as well for my uh, concealer. So I'm using the Match Perfection by, I believe it's Maybelline. And I love it because it's so easy to buff on the skin as well. Next, I'm using Lolly Tint by Benefit, and I like this because it's very creamy and it kind of like you can use it as a lip stain, you can use it for your cheeks, but I like it because it really stays on for a very long time. You don't have to touch up, and I love it because it just melts into the skin. Next, we're going on to lashes, and I'm using my favorite Thera Real by Benefit. And I will show you how well it really just coats the lashes and it just makes them look natural. It doesn't make it look um, clumpy or it doesn't leave all this like residue in your lashes. And look how lengthy they look. Don't they just look long? And usually you don't you can't tell whenever I'm, I don't put any mascara on. And next I'm using my favorite um, lipstick by MAC. It's called Honey Lip. And for my under, um, on my waterline, I'm using Annabelle. And I'm just putting on my waterline, and it's safe, it's hypoallergenic, so if you are the type of person who has sensitive eyes, this is great. It won't leave your eyes um, red or itchy. And that is it for my day look. And there is my night look. For my night look, I just amped it up with a dark, deep mauve color, like a mauve color, and then I just put a set of lashes, and that's it. So a nice, very versatile makeup look for daytime and nighttime. So if you like what you saw today, please don't forget to like and as well subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.